Mayor Sanders announced she's giving more than $30 million in ARPA funds toward mental health resources and substance abuse services across Arkansas. Yeah, 5 News reporter Lauren Spencer joins us now after talking with local resources who say they're grateful for the governor's support of such an important issue. Lauren? Yeah, guys, one of the things planned for this grant is a statewide coordinated crisis response system, which would be a 24 hour call center that would allow first responders to connect with those in crisis with the right people. Today, I spoke with local crisis intervention and stabilization units who say there is a large issue at hand and to have more resources from the state could help them serve more people in need. It changes people's lives and that's it's we're all just so thankful for that. The Fort Smith Crisis Intervention Unit is a first of its kind program in the state that specializes in mental health. A lot of times people think crimes being committed because someone's, you know, maybe under the influence of drugs or something, but a lot of times it's just because they're suffering from some type of mental, you know, issue. We try to get people into services, whether it be therapy or rehabilitation, anything like that. We just reach out and tell them that we're here. Since 2020, they've responded to almost 2,000 calls and have had almost 800 voluntary referrals for people to get the help they need. It doesn't cost you a dime. That's 72 hours that you get to speak to therapists and you leave there with medication if you need it. Rusty Horwick is the CEO of the Guidance Center, which operates a crisis stabilization unit for Sebastian County. It's one of the four in the state that provides immediate care to people experiencing a mental health or substance use disorder crisis. Mental health doesn't, it's not selective to a certain socioeconomic level. So everybody is impacted by behavioral health issues. And that's why being able to respond to crisis especially is so important. It's just for everyone. She says the new money could fund a call and receiving center and a central way to respond. It's rare to find things uh, in funding that support really some of the infrastructure needs. We're just so appreciative of the governor and this legislative body for recognizing the behavioral health needs in Arkansas. And, you know, we're so excited to have the opportunities and we want to work hand in hand with them for ideas on modernization. Additionally, the plan will focus on creating or helping improve resources for children and at risk populations. Horwick says her organization will apply for these grants whenever they release more details. Lauren Spencer, 5 News.